Hello. I thought I would introduce my low-calorie Thanksgiving treat. I'm going to start with whole blueberries. You can buy these frozen. They're inexpensive. I bought this bag for $2 at Walmart. You could do the same thing with blueberries. These are blueberries or blueberry mix. And I do it. I do the same thing with these. So you start out by taking your blueberries and you're going to pour some in a pan. So there we go. We got some poured in a pan. We're going to put them on, on the oven for you know, about 10 minutes. No, not 10 minutes. Maybe 5 minutes. Okay, so you got some blueberries. They're fresh. You don't need to use fresh blueberries. These are just as good. Next. This is cinnamon. But you could use pumpkin spice if you wanted to. Or whatever spice you like. I just... I don't know. Your flavor. I'm putting in a spoon. Put them in there, and you can see what's going on already. The blueberries are starting to warm up. Let me turn this down low. Now, so far, everything I've done has been very low calorie. If you look on the back of this thing, oops, can I get it in focus? Well, I can't. You'll just have to take my word for this. You could eat the entire bag of whole blueberries, blackberries. You could even eat this entire bag. It's a hundred calories per serving. And there's three servings in here. So you could eat the entire thing and it would still only be 300 calories. So, so far we're done pretty good on calorie count. Now we're gonna add one thing to it that's not as healthy. And that is, we're going to add pumpkin spice coffee creamer. Okay, so I know this makes it a little bit, not quite as healthy as it should be. But we're not going to add a lot. Probably about as much as you'd add to two or three cups of coffee. There you go. See that in there? If you want to add more, you can. So, we're about two minutes into this. It smells really good. It's cooking really good. Take my spoon, mix it up here. What you'll see is that the frozen berries start to produce quite a bit of juice. So, that's my recipe. When it's all done, you simply put that in your bowl and eat it just the way it is. And so instead of having a piece of pie, blackberry pie, with crust and tons of sugar, you're just going to have blackberries only. So that's it. And uh, I'll be eating these here in a few minutes. Thanks.